She's always supporting those games that don't get like the, the amount of love that they deserve, but coming through. But let's jump into this game. Here we go. We got Bankai fighting off against Terrain. Train's letters are so big in comparison yeah, to Bunk. it's just like... He, he's got... Bunkai's got a lot to put out there. You see, he's got the hashtag sleeve sports. My name's Bunkai. I live in PA now. He's got to put that all in the name tag. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And Train's just Train. Simple dimple. Yeah. All right, here we go. No stranger to PS2. Classic stage we'll be seeing a lot here at Xeno. But Rock in the Dark Samus. Rocking the Dark Samus indeed, because Train is racking up so much damage on Bankai, and especially in the beginning, Train was throwing out these little missiles, these little bomby bombies that were all around the platform that just racked up Bankai's damage like crazy. Mm -hmm. But then, just like that, we see Bankai reclaiming that stage control, uh, landing those double back airs, kind of like ho hoping that he just keeps Train off. That looks like an accidental air dodge, but is able to recover just in time. This is a canonical battle, if you think about it, dude. Samus versus Dark Samus? I mean, granted, it's Zero Suit, but... It's, she lost her armor. Yeah, it's um, it's the Metroid series, but in Smash. Yeah. Metroid Prime. Oh, that was so oh. close. Okay, looking for that tech. That's a very classic. If you catch someone at high enough damage with a Zer, you can actually put them into a tumble state, and so they have to you get, they put them into a tech situation. So, Bucky was running that neutral get up, trying to land a second back air on him. Wow, holding down to make the boost kick come through. Big fan of that catching the air dodge with the side of you, taking that first stock. Bankai. Started off a little hazy, got a lot of damage on him, but quickly recuperated. Absolutely. Something that we've seen a lot of, of Bankai. Every time he's at a disadvantage, he'll find a way to go up like a, a hundred percentage. And there we go, going all those nares, those fair chains. Ooh, I love that tech. Big fan of the tech. Bankai showing it's possible to get back on there. He's going to let go. I mean, he had to, right? If he would have kept holding on, the invincibility was worn off. That blaster shot was easily going to touch his, his little tippy toes, his hands. Oh, forward air. What's the next move? I love seeing the battle of Zares between these two. They're just kicking out their little whippies. Mm. Yeah, but we got a Strider Dash stack coming out from Dark Sam. So that's going to be Train taking away his first stock of the set. Let's see if we try to bring this back. I mean, there's one thing Dark Samus has got going for them. They, got, they can shoot and they can build up a lot of damage real fast. They, they are a heavy hitter. Absolutely. And honestly, ZSS has some method to just rack up damage as well. But right now, Train is at 120, so at a really big disadvantage. But as Aussie just said, Dark Samus can really take it back. Okay, that down air, look at that nonsense. Oh, a little bit too far away for that grab to connect. What's the other, bunk guy? He's just running, waiting, that's it. He's waiting, just waiting. Waiting for an option, waiting for him to do, literally commit to anything and trying to not give it to him out of respect or out of fear, but regardless, taking the stock and taunting? Let's go with all the taunts, all the teabags. And the crouching? It's all of them. All over. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a shot, here we go. Nair into forward air, into forward air, into up air. I love it, just chaining him across PS2. How can he get out? He's going to use that platform. Oh, if he would have kept that going, that could have potentially led to something big. Maybe not a stock, but... Oh, oh that's, wow, that's it. It did anyways. Whatever. Went to the right side. Get that back here. She can kick for days with those heels. Honestly, Bunker can get one hit, and then that's it. That's his entire mm. game right there. Kick, 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 and then there you go. And before we know it, that's the stock. That clash was everything, by the way, right before that. But here we go. Catches it, goes for the Nair, sets him up beautifully for get that back air combo. There's not much Train could have done in that situation. He was pretty much done skis after that Nair landed. Mm-hmm. Look at them. They're ready. I'm digging the pink shorts. I love the pink shorts. I was just about to say. I'm actually a big fan of that. I need to go out and compliment them. Yeah. Love the pink shorts. You do it right now. No, no, he's playing this. He's playing this. Set. He's playing this. Set. He's I'll playing stop him set. right now. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Change of uh, scenery here. We're going to go to Kalos Pokemon League. This is a uh, kind of like PS2, except nothing at all. It's got the two platforms, and that's about the, where it, pretty much the similarities end. You got them mm -hmm. on the edge of the stage. Got the walls. The walls are going to be insanely helpful because you can you know, take off of them. Allows you to like just kind of hold onto the wall with the uh, B from Dark Samus in order to grab onto the ledge. And it also gives Train a lot more room to try to play a little bit more defensive, which, you know, the long range battle, Train's going to win that in this matchup. Just because mm -hmm. of the guns and the projectiles they got going for him. Mm -hmm. But right now, just a, a lot of back and forth between on one another. They're just hitting each other really well, really getting close to in percentages as well. 
Just one little poke right there. One itty bitty poke. Ooh, the slow moving missile. Here we go. I like the bait. Let's go mm -hmm. to the short hop just to um, you know, make some blows load. Here we go. Oh, uh, are we getting back? What a down air. A down air. All right, look out. If you're moving, just moving back. I mean, they both got killer back airs. You got to be on the lookout for that. Just as I say that, landing uh, Bunkai landing uh, one of their own. Ooh, Uppy not taking it. And oh. we see Train just like trying to get back on stage. And you know what? There it is. You know, even though Bonkai missed that first up B, like he didn't really get punished for it. He mm -hmm. got he got shot for nine damage. He's like, I'll take that to the bank. That's a, that's a very good trade in his favor. Oh. Just shooting their lasers around. Yeah. Honestly, it works for both of them. They both got really good projectiles. Got to take advantage yeah. of it. At mid range, I think they both like can contest each other. It's just that's why you see Bonkai get so close to Train, even though Train's trying to make as much space as possible. Because this whole time, you're, you're noticing that it's Train trying to get back to center stage or just try to get back on the stage in general. And Bonkai's just applying so much pressure on this ledge. Mm -hmm. Look at him, he's dancing around him. He's not even swinging at him, just kind of waiting to see how he reacts when he gets closed close in the space. Because worst case scenario, he's at least getting data from him. Mm -hmm. if, not the, if not the little platform on the left and mm -hmm. the one on the right, still Train is still unable to get out of under that little platform yes. or even on that platform because Bonkai is just able to just push them further and further in. Now the benefit of uh, Kalos for Dark Samus is that Train's going to be able to wall jump off of those ledges, uh, to the stage down below. So it gives him another option for trying to mix up his recovery, which he kind of needs against Bonkai because when he's off stage, he just takes up so much damage, if not outright, just dies. So, all right, here we go. What's the play here? I love Bonkai just standing there and waiting for Train to make an option before they get to, like, reactively do so. The grab. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Using that wall jump to try to stall how long, mix up the timing and when you're going to go for the ledge to get back onto the stage because Literally, ledge trapping is like a lot of people think it's about guessing where they're gonna go, but in reality, it's all about timing. You're just trying to time when they're gonna go for the options. Mm -hmm. Good catch from Bonka, gonna be able to burrow him into the, the ground, kick him up with that uh, up B to get the finishing kill. Now, train on his potential final stock of the set. Let's see if we try to bring this back and turn this into a game three situation in this race to two. Mm -hmm. Train's still being pushed away and not. And when they're finally able to get into center stage, Bonkai is still able to just push them out. Finally, we get some little attacks from Train being able to get some damage onto Bonkai. But now again, Bonkai just forcing Train to just dance around that little platform, air dodging or like rolling in and out, but, but not actually taking or like doing any damage. Yeah, it's the classic, right? It's all about like a lot of the, ooh, good call out. A lot of things that like quick characters will have in this game is movement. Movement's so important in Ultimate, and having the movement to be able to dance around your opponent and not commit to anything is such a powerful asset that a lot of top players will, you know, employ. It's all about trying to see how your opponent reacts. Oh my gosh. Gets him off stage, 114, jumps over that blaster, looks out for the projectiles. I like the coverage with the missile. Gonna allow Train to get back on the stage safely, but still trying to find their way to center stage. Cannot find it. Gets back on 126. Bunkin trying to go deep to get that finish, but tries to play a little bit safe by going on the platform. Where's the up I thought that was it! Not enough to ground them, but there you go! Onto that platform. I felt like for most of Kalos, Train was just stuck in that little platform. They were trying so hard to just get away from it, but not taking it. Yeah, just not enough. That's gonna be Bunkai getting a clean 2-0. Puts him onto the stage, gets the wall, the, almost said wall spot, where is this guilty gear? <laughs> gets him onto the stage, forced, no tech coming out, and because Train missed that tech, it was very important. Oh, yeah. yeah. Done skis, gets the back air, and that's going to be the set. Bonkai taking that 2-0, going to move on in, and going to be fighting off against Jen later on. I mean, that was the potential thing that we were talking about previously. But, uh, yeah, uh, guys... That was really cool to jump back on the mic, but 